Welcome to the Arabesque Scissors YouTube channel. I'm Ali Phillips and in this video I'm going to be taking you through how to add the zip and the zipper facings into the Creators Compendium. So that will include using zipper tape. So I will teach you how to start and end each end of your zipper, how to add the zipper tab at the bottom here, and also how to add the facing is going to make the zipper tab wider so that we can fit a bulky notebook inside. Now, if you love instructional sewing videos that help you grow in your skills as a sewist, please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a like. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future patterns for me, please leave me a comment. Okay, so here I've got uh, four of my zipper facings. I've got the zipper tab, I've got my zipper tape, and I've also got a zipper pull. And I've also got the interfacing that you need fused onto each of these facings. And uh, what I've gone and done is just used a lot of leftover little strips that I had. So I've joined mine together in um, several little short sections to make up the length that I needed. And this is quite acceptable if you'd like to use up just some scrap interfacing that you've got. And what I recommend you do after you've fused it on is re-measure each of your facings uh, just to check that this uh, hasn't stretched at all uh, because these long skinny uh, strips can be quite stretchy and so um, if you find that yours has uh, stretched a little bit just trim off the excess uh, to the required length. So now we're going to install the zipper pull onto the zipper tape. So I have a whole video if you'd like to learn about this in detail. I've got one side of this uh, tape trimmed about half an inch longer than the other and you're just going to slide that into one of the large openings on the pull and just move it down until you're just about level with the other side of the zipper tape and then you're going to just wedge that into the other side of the large opening so both of the edges are now in and that's a little bit fiddly and then with two fingers pushing down on the tape, you're just going to pull up the zipper pull until you can feel it starting to run. So just check that you've got that nice and even. And then slide that zipper pull all the way up to the other end. And stop when you reach about four inches from the end. So this is the direction that the tape will close towards in. And it will unzip, obviously, in the other direction. So now I'm going to show you how to end off your zipper. So you need to just take your ruler and measure and mark an inch down from this top edge of the zipper tape. So just make sure you're getting that as straight as you can because this zipper tape can be a little bit warpy. So just make sure you've got a nice clear mark there. So just make sure that you've got a really nice straight line here. Now grab the end that you've marked and open those zipper teeth down to the zipper pull. And then we're going to work on the right hand side here and just grab a little pleat where the mark is so just pinch that with your fingers and then just pleat that zipper tape over like so so that the teeth are now turning outwards so those teeth are now moving outwards at a right angle now just grab a clip and hold that in place and now we're going to work on the other side so just repeat the process in reverse. So we're going to pinch right on top of that mark that we've made and then pleat that zipper tape so that it's now moving outward at a right angle and just wiggle that uh, pleat down nice and tightly so that you can feel that that's right up against the teeth there and then just grab a clip and hold that in place. So just manipulate the zipper tape until you're happy with how that pleat is sitting and then we're ready to take this to the sewing machine and just put a few stitches across the top of the tape there. Or if you prefer, you can actually hand stitch it uh, with a few stitches of uh, needle and thread. And ending the zip like this is going to just make the teeth taper off really nicely inside the facing. So make sure you've got your zipper foot on your machine here. And having a stiletto is really, really helpful here to get everything under the machine and just keeping it all together because you really want that pleat to stay nice and tight. So you just take your time manipulating that underneath, uh, making sure it's all in the right place. And then just uh, sew a few stitches forward 
and then back again and then I'll just I'm going to stop and pivot and then I'm actually going to sew backwards and do a few back stitches just down the tape just to lock that in place along that edge so then move on to the other side of the teeth so remove your clip and slide everything underneath and this time I've got my needle left aligned so I'm just going to be stitching forward just a few stitches along the teeth just to lock that in place and then back stitch again and then stitch forward and then just turn and pivot with your needle down and just stitch a few stitches in that direction of the tape and then you can just close your zip and check that you've got both of those ends level Grab your uh, zipper and tab to and we're just going to press under um, a 3 8 of an inch hem on each of those short ends, uh, just to the wrong side. And now we can fold those folded ends right sides together and just put a clip on each side. And we're ready to take this to the sewing machine and stitch down each side at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And you can trim off both of those inner corners. Now grab your zipper facings and we're going to work in pairs now. So place these right sides together so the short ends are now meeting. And you can clip them together along one short edge. Now grab your other pair of facings and put them right sides together and clip them along the short edge as well. And now we can take both of these to the sewing machine and stitch across each of the short ends. We're also going to turn under a 3 8 inch hem on the other end of each of the facings. So you will be pressing under four hems. Now one thing I should have mentioned when we started sewing the facings was to mark the midpoint. So you're just going to fold each of these facings in half and then finger press and also mark uh, that halfway line along all four of these facing edges. So just go and do that for all four of your facing. So now grab your tape measure and measure down from the very top edge of those teeth all the way down to the 30 inch mark and place a, a mark across both sides of the zipper tape at the 30 inch mark. That's going to be the stitching line to secure the end of the zip. Then I'm going to measure down again from the top edge and place a mark at 26 inches. is the point where the facings will be finishing. Now fold your zip in half and line that up with the second mark that we've made and then you can mark your midpoints along that zipper tape. Now we can sew across this lower mark on the sewing machine and trim just below it. So just trim off about half an inch below that stitching line that you've just made. And then we're going to grab the zipper tape that we stitched on the machine and turn that through right sides out. And then just carefully poke out those corners just to make the corners nice and crisp. And then just give that a quick press with the iron. Now you can take the uh, bottom end of your zipper tape and then just slide that into the opening of the zipper tab that we've made. Now depending on the width of your zipper tape, uh, this might be a little bit squishy. But just sort of wiggle it in there and get it as even as you can. Make sure that tab is covering up the stitching on both sides. Now just hold that in place with a couple of clips and we can take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch around all four sides of this zipper tab.
So now we're going to install the zipper tape inside the zipper facings. So just keep your facings uh, right sides together and open out that little seam at the top there. Then open your zipper a few inches. Then slide this zipper tape inside both of these layers of facing. And we're going to line up the raw edge of the zipper facing with the outside edge of the zipper tape. So just make sure that the very top of those zipper teeth are wedged up nice and tightly in the top of that seam. And then you're going to align both of these edges with the edges of the zipper tape and make sure everything's nice and straight and up as tight as you can get in the top of that seam and then just put a clip on there. So now we're going to match up some midpoints. So just move down the zipper tape until you come to the middle of the zipper facing midpoints and line that up with the midpoint on the zipper tape and then line up the second midpoint on the second facing and just get all of those nicely lined up together and just clip all of that together now if you're finding this all a little bit too much to manage all in one go you can work on clipping one layer of facing uh, down at a time and then add the second one in a bit later now just match up the bottom edge of the facing with the bottom mark that we've got on the zipper tape here keeping these hems folded under and uh, just add a clip on to the end of both of those. Now just work back along um, the edges of your facing here and just ease everything all together. And if you find that things aren't meeting up uh, quite as snugly as you'd like, uh, this is probably because of the bulk of the zipper teeth in the top of it all. So just sort of wiggle it all around until you can get it uh, nice and smooth and the edges um, lining up um, sort of at the same length and you might find that you need to mark your midpoint um, a second time just to make sure that everything stays nice and level. So just work your way along the zipper facings um, attaching it to the zipper tape here and use as many clips as you need because this is quite important to get the seam allowance accurate on this because it is such um, a narrow little piece of fabric to be sewing on. So just take your time here and you'll get a really nice result. So now we can take this to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch along here at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now I'm actually going to start my stitching line a little bit past the zipper teeth and then I'll do a few stitches going backwards uh, just to go over the teeth because I find my machine actually copes a little bit better stitching across the teeth like this and then just use your stiletto um, if you need to sort of help push that um, just up and over those teeth and once you get over that you'll find that uh, it'll be much easier. So just work your way down and remove the clips as you come to them and just take your time to keep all those layers nicely aligned with the edge of that zipper tape. So now we've got the first side of our facing sewn on, so we're just going to trim off this extending zipper tape here level with the edge of the facing. So now you can reach inside and pull that zipper tape right side out and then start pulling that zipper facing right side out as well. And then just um, start pulling those raw edges back together and clipping them so that they line up. And pull that zipper tape right out um, as tight as you can just to keep all those edges crisp. So this is another fiddly part here that you just have to take your time uh, putting the clips on and pulling everything back into shape to get a really nice result. So then you can just hit that with the iron and start put, pressing that all into place. And you can press over the edge of your zipper teeth uh, carefully with your iron as long as you're not resting it on there for any length of time. Now you can take all your clips off here if you'd like to and you can also flip it over and hit it from the back side as well. Now we can take this to the sewing machine and top stitch all the way down um, an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the zipper. 
So once again I'm going to start stitching a little bit past the beginning of the zipper tape and then I'm going to back stitch slowly across the very top and then I'm going to use my stiletto just to help push everything under and just get everything to grab nicely so I don't get a big lump of stitching. Now I am taking my time as I go along here so don't feel like you need to rush just take your time to keep everything nice and straight. Now as you approach the end of your facing we're just going to stop and turn and sew those bottom two edges together. Then I'm going to increase my stitching to about four and a half and baste these outer raw edges together. Now if you're like me and you've ironed away your midpoint marks, uh, just grab your pen and refold the zip and remark the midpoints uh, so you can see them again. So now we're going to install uh, the remaining pair of facings. So just open your zip and then open your facings, keeping them so that they are right sides together and slide those zipper teeth inside the facing so that those outer raw edges are now lining up with the outer edge of the zipper tape. So just wiggle those teeth until they're right up in the top of that seam line there and then hold those layers together with the clip. And I'm just going to untangle everything and get all my layers uh, nicely lined up and just move down to the midpoints on the zipper facing and the zipper tap. So just match up those marks there. Just click that together and then just have a little check and see if you've got that nice, nicely lining up together and that's looking like it's fitting pretty nicely. So just work your way along and put on as many clips as you need then match up the bottom edge of the facing with the bark on the bottom of the zipper tape and then just ease all that along and line up all those edges together. So now we're ready to take the second side of the facing to the sewing machine and stitch along those raw edges and I'm actually going to be turning my work over and stitching from the back side of the teeth once again I'm going to start stitching a little bit past the beginning of my zipper tape and then I'm going to back stitch right over those teeth and then I'm going to sew forward again. So just uh, follow the line of that interfacing and just take your time and just um, wiggle those uh, raw edges together to keep everything nice and lined up so that you can keep your facings nice and even. So just keep stopping and readjusting as many times as you need to. Don't be worried um, about rushing this. Um, you'll get a much better result if you can just take your time. Now as you approach the bottom end of your facing you may discover that one of your edges isn't actually aligning uh, quite exactly with the other ones. Now the main thing is here that you want uh, both of your zipper facings on both sides of the zip to line up exactly right. So I'm just going to fudge mine here. Um, one of mine does line up with the other two so I'm just going to fold uh, the one that's not matching up exactly right just up a little bit more and then I'm just going to stitch right over it and lock that into place. Now just trim off that protruding zipper tape level with the facing. And then you can reach inside your facing and just start pulling um, everything out to the right side and grab those teeth and just give them a really good pull and get them to come right out of the facing. And then just work your way uh, down the, the length of the facing and match up those raw edges. So just um, keep manipulating and pulling everything into place and you can grab your iron 
and then just start uh, pressing everything down nice and flat. So now we're ready to top stitch uh, down the very edge of the zipper teeth and we're also going to base those remaining raw edges together along the outer edge. So this is the final step in making the zipper facing and this is probably the most fiddly part of the whole creator's compendium. So congratulations if you've made it this far and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.